Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf, your one and only, and today, I'm pretty sure you guys have heard the news if you're on Twitter or Facebook, that we're going to be getting Hazuno Miku. Yep, our first collab is finally coming to Destiny Child. About time. But I wanted to see her stats and what she could do inside of the Japanese version. Because if you guys have not realized that we've been getting pretty nerf versions of characters from the Japan and Korean. Like if you guys saw in the last video we were talking about uh, Krampus and what Krampus could do. But I think that was like the Korean Krampus. I want to take a look at Japanese Krampus. Does crap Japanese Krampus do the same? Yeah, actually. Hold on, I'm gonna bring it up on the screen. Because Japanese Krampus definitely does the same thing. Uh let me get to Mar. Whoops. <laughs> Mabi. Wrong one. There we go. So yeah, Japan Krampus does the same thing that we were talking about. The whole double tap. But ours does not do that. Our does something completely different. Just random attacks. So up to four random attacks. Um... So that's unfortunate. <laughs> so ours, the like I said, ours is gonna be completely different from the Japan and Korean. So we could probably get, be getting a nerve version, a buff version, but people have already told me that Guardian Change is slightly nerfed from what she was in Japan, I believe. So I wanna take a look at that too. There she is. She's under a different name. That's what it was. That's weird. Alright, so let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. She does do different things. So it appears that characters that use their tap skill have completely different skills. Like, we still kind of... Yeah, we pretty much still have this. But the slide skill has changed so yeah we don't have like tapping skills like over and over for what I see so yeah unfortunately we are getting like nerf versions of characters from what I see now and then which is pretty unfortunate. But Hatsuno Miku is a water type and I wanted to show her off before I actually went into all this stuff. <laughs> I just got sidetracked and I pretty much wanted everybody to know that all the stuff that I go over is probably not the stuff we're gonna get. So you'll probably have to boy into the actual character to come out but i want to see what she does inside the japanese oh god hiccups i want to see what she did in the japanese version so let's go over that oh yeah by the way this is the site that people well one person had recommended to me we get this out of the way all right so leader skill does tap damage for waters an extra 8% if it's a Ragnarok event. Alright, so that's why she has a 9 in Ragnarok, I guess. 10 is the best, though. Alright, tap skill. Gain 30% regen and heal to water units. Okay. Alright, pretty nice. Alright, so last skill deals damage to target and applies 1,200 attack to three allies with the highest attack. Okay. 
for 16 seconds has a chance of applying cheer to three, no, to five water units for 14 seconds. And cheer is plus 15 weakness damage. Oh, well, skill damage. And increases tag with a number of buffs. Based on the armor buffs. Okay, that's actually pretty pretty nice. Hmm. So with this, I feel like wait, hold up. Is this gonna be an event or like a summoning? That's a real question. I'm guessing it's gonna be an event to where we fight her and she's our I I'm guessing she's gonna be our Ragnar Break character or boss raid or world boss Psst. i don't know what is up with myself today <laughs> but yeah i'm pretty sure she's gonna be like our world boss or either another ragnar break character if not she's gonna be full-on summon which is gonna be unfortunate because you know i'm i'm ready i already have my what team all prepared dude i am ready my body is ready all right so her drive skill Deals damage to two random targets. Apply 50% drive damage to five water allies for 33 seconds. And oh, and gives plus 300 to ally gauge. Well, drive gauge. Hmm. Okay, I can actually see that being pretty strong. But, like I said, probably not going to be the one we get, but it's been mostly tap skills that we've been seeing, like, use tap multiple times. That's the thing that we've been seeing getting changed, not really the normal stuff. So we probably could get Miku with this stuff, which would be fantastic, just because she's going to be, like, the water version of... Hermes, but better, <laughs> which is going to be like completely amazing, but it's a chance of getting this buff, which is going to be sad when you don't get it. So she's going to prepare us for the next fire Ragnarok, which will be in like quite a while away, I believe, if this is our new event. So yeah. That's all I wanted to go over. So yeah, a lot of stuff to look forward to for sure. I am definitely looking forward to it. So, oh god. You know what, I want to know your guys two cents on Miku. If we do get her like that. How do you guys feel like she's going to perform? Especially inside of uh, a Ragnar break. Because I can, I can see her performing pretty well, to be honest. I don't... Mm. I can see her being pretty destructive, if anything. Huh. But anywho, hope you guys enjoy. That's pretty much all I wanted to go over because we're getting our first collab. What what else is there to say? It's about time, to be honest. I've been looking forward to this. I need to start saving up all my crystals again. I need to stop using them. Even though I, I use them countless of time. Let's use this. I know I don't have the rest of them, but I always use them on stream, so today we're just gonna go ahead and use them here. I already have the um, MOA skin. Which is censored. I, I kind of saw it coming. I get a one here. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's exactly what I need. I need to get as many crystals as I can. So, yeah. So I get crystals at this, right? Yeah, I do. But... Hold up, let me show you the skin. Could have sworn I saved it as a 
favorite, but all right. But yeah. Normally everybody was talking about her being nude, but unfortunately she is it did. Which I'm fine with because she actually still looks cool. Oh my god, she's giant as hell. But personally, I still like Charlotte's look too. I don't know what it is. I just like the night look. I just wish her lens weren't actually her. Like, I wish she had the pole lances. Let's say that. Not like the hand lances. But then again, I guess hand lances are better. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Let me go ahead and finish this before I end off for you guys. You guys get to experience my rolls. I'm really looking forward to this event, to be honest. Oh, am I getting the blood chip? Appreciate it. Wait, that's not like every seven um finishes, right? I hope not. Really hoping not. Oh yeah, I've been meaning to look at the stats of this. Holy shit. Actually might be good. Who am I gonna put that on though? I'm not gonna put it on the attacker. Just because most of my attackers. I give crit chance to. And I give agility to supports. Now I'll figure it out later. But yeah. I am actually decently into my um Devil Pass too. So today I will be doing all of my daily stuff and probably getting to 29 is what I want to guess then I'll get my five star ticket I'll probably summon it with you guys by that time so yeah that should be fun wait hold on how many how long is this okay 15 more days but yeah hope you guys enjoyed it I'll see you guys on the next one till then peace out to lose.